So the the obvious question is, well, how did you get here? What what brought you here? I mean, it was. I told you that after the bombing of the villages, I was very curious about what moved the USA and how can people that vote for their leader leaders in a country that's called a democracy could allow such incoherence. Mm -hmm. Um, and I had finished my undergraduate studies in electrical engineering and computer engineering. So it was a great reason to tell my parents I want to do a master's in computer science in the USA. My, I got accepted, but my father said, I don't know about that. We should ask permission from the eldest of the family. Mm -hmm. The eldest from the family is Rush Di Kehya, and he is the head of the People's Party, the cousin of my father's father and uh, he was exiled in Lebanon because when the Ba'ath came to power he got exiled and came, he exiled himself and came to Lebanon and he lived there in a hotel so we went and uh, my uncle asked me um, old question about why I'm coming to the U.S. what's going on in my life and all and he said something about are you breaking a heart? Are you leaving a man behind? Oh. And I told him that actually, it's very interesting that all these years, because he said, you can do your master's anytime, but finding a good man is not necessarily as easy as it seems at your age. And I said, uncle, let me tell you something very openly. When I dance on the floor, I have a lot of men dancing with me. When the music stops and they start asking me what I do, and I tell them I'm an engineer, most of them flock away, and I'm left with two, three that start asking me riddles. My grades are higher than many in my class, and yet men that made much less grades than me asked me why was I coming to do a master's. That's the reality. The way I am is too challenging for a local man. So part of it is I need to find my wings abroad. He said, be blessed, my child, but never remember your responsibility. Because he asked me about my pride in my ethnicity, my responsibility as a first child who's groomed to be responsible and carry the load of the family, and my responsibility as coming from my family. How will I carry that abroad? So he said, I said, I'll make sure they know how to spell our name. And he said, don't forget that when mm. you're there. Well, and how do you blessed. spell your name? And my father <laughs> fell off his chair. K-A-T-K-H-O-U-D-A. -A. Governor in the name of God. And my first name, Reem, is, means white tear. And it's an apparition that takes the tribe to good pasture. So when I went into doing radio in 94, meeting all of you, creating WBIX, the internet radio, then creating the DC Radio Co-op with you, then People's Media Center. It wasn't a coincidence. I felt I was carrying my destiny and my responsibility because my analysis of what goes in the US is people are very misinformed. So to create independent media that allows people to tell his story and their stories and not his story will allow us to connect the dots. In my work, if you pay attention, I connect the global to the local, mm -hmm. and I trained some 300 street reporters with you, but I wanted to make sure that when they think of a gentrified neighborhood, they realize these are settlements. It's like colonization. Mm -hmm. When they talk about a blockaded Cuba, they remember Gaza is blockaded. Mm -hmm. And by connecting the global to the local, we start heightening the awareness of people. And that's mm -hmm. why I did media. Not because it was exciting to cut sound and mix uh, music and poetry to news and behind the news, but actually to allow a space for an international discourse and for the fact that we're human too, even though we're abroad. You know, there's one thing I, I tell you this all, I, I don't, all the time. I don't see you, I haven't seen you in a long time, for 20 years, whatever it is. But one time we were doing a forum, you know, I was recording as usual, a, a forum, and you and and the people with some some I I, I don't know label but a liberal kind of person a woman was saying it yeah well, we want to go into into the neighborhoods I think she said whatever she said uh, uh and we want to uh, uh record their stories and you said and I always remember this you said well, why don't you just give them recorders and let them record their own stories that's exactly the whole philosophy that came from the politics of my upbringing in war 
where you need to let the people tell their story, not become the pod people. But I was groomed deeper into it through the sound gatherers. Mm -hmm. yeah. You give people a recorder, and that's how you get their story. You allow them to tell their story. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you for this.